Have you taken the leap and installed Linux on your Chromebook? Are you wondering whether you picked the right distro? Hi, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com and in this video I'll show you 5 lightweight Linux distros for your Chromebook. Oh, and if you're wondering what a Linux distro is, it stands for Linux Distribution. Organizations like Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu, combine the Linux kernel with lots of independently developed software so that we get an awesome operating system. The five distros I picked for this video are designed to be lightweight and fast, perfect for a Chromebook. The first one on the list is Ubuntu Mate. Mate is a nice looking desktop environment that's fast and efficient. The developers have created what they call a traditional desktop which helps new and experienced users easily get stuff done. Next is El Ubuntu, which uses the LXDE desktop, the lightest desktop on this list, and is designed for low-spec hardware. On paper, this should be the desktop of choice on a Chromebook, because it uses less CPU, RAM and battery. Next is XUbuntu, which uses another popular lightweight desktop, XFCE. It's not quite as fast as LXDE, but I think it looks better. New users will feel right at home with the layout and menus in this distro. Next is the new distro on the block, Gallium OS, which uses Xubuntu as its base. Interestingly, this distro is designed specifically for Chromebooks and includes fixes and patches as well as optimizations for Chrome OS devices. Last but not least is Elementary OS, a beautifully designed distro which obviously uses Apple's OS as its inspiration. It has its own desktop environment called Pantheon which is fast, clean and very user friendly. I installed the five distros on a USB 3 thumb drive in a multi-boot setup. Each distro is a fresh install with all available software and security updates 12 gigabytes of hard disk space and 4 gigabytes of swap space. Ubuntu Mate was the fastest to boot at 23 seconds while Elementary OS was the slowest at 26 seconds. All these distros use the same version of Linux kernel except Elementary OS, which is based on an older version of Ubuntu. Newer kernels have more features and hardware support for newer drivers. Gallium OS was the smallest installation using only 3.4 GB of disk space, with Ubuntu Mate using the most at 4.8 GB. Once I installed Steam, the space used increased as shown. With the system sitting idle, El Ubuntu uses the least amount of memory at 6%, with Xubuntu not far behind at 7% of the 4GB available. Ubuntu Mate uses the most at 15%, but that's still pretty good going in my opinion. The Octane benchmark is a good indicator for how responsive the browser will be for general web surfing. Higher scores are better and Elementary OS had the highest score at 7979, with Xubuntu and Ubuntu Mate not far behind. An operating system should be intuitive and easy to use, so let's take a look at navigating the distros first. All of the distros have easy to use menu systems and it's quite easy to find programs or settings as needed. If I can't quite recall the name of an app or setting, searching for it makes it easy to find. 
Unfortunately, both Ubuntu Mate and El Ubuntu don't have this feature. On to the browsers. Elementary OS has the fastest browser, Midori, but I have to admit I found it buggy and installed Chrome and Firefox instead. Gallium uses Chromium, which has the same base as Chrome, and I found this the second fastest browser in this test. The other distros all use Firefox as the default browser, which is about a second slow in most tasks, but I don't think that's a big deal. Finding files and folders might not be exciting, but it is essential. Out of all the distros, I like the XFCE file system in Gallium OS and Xubuntu, because it balances features and simplicity well. The most full-featured media player was in Ubuntu Mate, which uses the VLC player. The players in all other distros played media without any issues. Let's take a look. Ubuntu Mate and Xubuntu both include LibreOffice by default for producing documents and spreadsheets and so much more. Elubuntu only has AbbeyWord whereas Gallium OS and Elementary OS have no Office software installed. This software should be easy to install which brings me to my next task. How easy is it to install new software? Until recently, the software center in Ubuntu was a bit lacking, but the new version is very nice indeed. Installing software is as simple as searching for it and clicking install. Elementary OS still uses the old version, and El Ubuntu uses its own customized version, which are both simple to use, but in Gallium OS, I ran into a problem. There is no software center to be found, and you are left with having to use the inferior Synaptic Manager tool. It's difficult to know what to install after a search and worse, new users are unlikely to know that this is the tool to use. More experienced users probably use the command line to install software on Gallium OS, as I did when I installed Firefox. Maybe for some viewers the look of the distro isn't that important, but for me the design is make or break. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder so you may not agree with my opinion sir. I think the least attractive is El Ubuntu, with Gallium OS following close behind. Gallium OS has the makings of a great looking OS, but the multicolored icons look proportionately incorrect and out of place. I think the one color icons here should be used throughout the whole distro to keep the OS looking clean and modern. Ex Ubuntu and Ubuntu Mate come a close second place to elementary OS, which is all about great design. I wanted to show you an example of gameplay, so I installed Steam and downloaded the free to play game Star Conflict. Peggy 12. The graphics and the action shown here should demonstrate that lightweight distros are capable of handling gaming within reason. This is a low spec Chromebook after all. All the distros ran Steam and this game with only some lag, so less intensive games should run okay. 
Let's take a look at some gameplay. That's the Fantastic Five, five lightweight distros that work really well on a Chromebook. Each distro has something unique to offer and I hope this video will help you decide which one is best for you. You can read a more detailed version of this video using the link here. If you like this video, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and leave any comments on YouTube or my website. Until next time, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com